What's up, guys? My name's Noah. I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. Today's video is supposed to be really practical, some really cool tips for you guys to use. It'll apply for pretty much all genres, um, so let's get into that. But first, I want to let you guys know I got a free finishing music checklist in the description of this video. If you're having trouble finishing your music, go grab that checklist. It'll help you out. Lots of people have downloaded it been super helpful for a lot of people and jump into the discord we are really growing on discord people really engaging we're doing a group collab right now it's a lot of fun so go down in there and check it out uh, we'll see you in the discord so let's get into these tips first one uh, when i found out this one i was kicking myself i was like are you serious this has been under my nose the whole time so i can click right here on each channel in ableton i could do this on my master i could even do this on a device too and i can make notes like like i've got a reese base preset right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit edit info text and then right down here in the corner i can make notes like this is a nasty reese and then i can always refer back to it too uh one of my buddies this, this worked out perfectly we're collaborating on something right now and what he did was he put the key of the original song that we were remixing in the master info text so he just put it okay it was 150 b minor so the next one is something where i was trying to go use the yo man preset from the old chorus in ableton 10 and i couldn't do it because i the new ableton 11 chorus is doesn't have that preset i'm looking around like okay it doesn't doesn't have it so what do i do like does the chorus not work anymore no it's still there Let's check it out so we're going to go into packs we'll go to core library and we're going to go down to our audio effects and we'll go down to Legacy. And you can see right here we have Yo Man. And we'll bring it right back. For those of you who are looking for the old versions of Chorus, Phaser, and I think Redux and Corpus, they're all in here. The next one is freezing and flattening. Everybody knows how to do that. But sometimes you don't want to commit to the sound entirely, right? Maybe you want to freeze it and you want to keep that MIDI and all the processing there anyways. Well, you could do this. All you need to do after you freeze it is just click option drag and you've got the... Okay, last tip is how to hot swap samples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the clip like this, right click and then hit manage sample file. And you'll see it'll take me right to that that sample right there. I won't have to look for it in my project. Sometimes if you've got a huge project and you're trying to swap out samples, like maybe you want to replace the kick or the snare in your track, you have to dig through all the samples that you're using. It's a, it's a huge pain. Right here, we just go up here and then we can, it'll take us to where that parent folder is and then we can swap it out for pretty much any sample that we want. And bonus tip here, that hot swap mode works for pretty much all of these plugins. Like you could see, we could swap out the plugin right there, but there's a hot key for that. Just press Q. I can press Q and then swap it out for pretty much any preset that I want. Works for pretty much any device. So that's it guys, that's my five tips for Ableton. So I uh, hope you guys found them helpful. And remember, jump in the Discord. We're hanging out there, I'm posting samples in there as much as I can. Presets, we're giving track feedback. Uh, come join, it's a good time. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.